Okay, in this video, I will go over these temp series to see if they converge or not. And the secret weapon is that we will just need to use the list and also the P series. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try these questions first. Okay, now hopefully you guys have a chance to try them, and now let's go over them. Here's the deal. The list says, as n goes to infinity, we have natural log of n as the smallest infinity, and then the next one is n to the p's power, where p is a positive number, and then b to the n's power, and b has to be greater than 1, and then we have n factorial, and then we have n to the n's power. So, the reason that I put on double less than, it's because of the following. We can use the list in this way as well. Here is a quick example. Suppose I give you the limit as n goes to infinity, and let me just put down, let's say, n to the 30th power over n factorial, right? And can we see what the answer is based on this? Yes, this right here will give us 0 because n to the 30th power is right here, right? And n factorial is right here. This is so small compared to that, in the sense that if n goes to infinity, this is so small, when you divide n to the 30th power over n factorial, this limit will be 0. That's how we use it, and that's why I put on double less than sign right here. And now, let's see. How we can utilize this to help us to do that? Maybe it's a good idea to take the reciprocal of everybody, so we will. Let's look at this. We have 1 over natural log of n, and then if you take the reciprocal, because everybody is positive, you just need to flip the inequality symbol. So we have this as greater than greater than 1 over n to the p's power, and then greater than greater than 1 over b to the n's power, and then greater than greater than 1 over n factorial, and then greater than greater than 1 over n to the n's power, like this. Notice that though, as n goes to infinity, everybody right here are 0, everybody is 0, Everybody goes to 0, and this right here will be considered the biggest 0, but when you add up you know, something that's not small enough, you get divergent. And now, here is the deal. I will just give you guys a little cut-off point. This right here, it's like a prime example of a divergent, is the 1 over n, right? But technically, this right here, it's not serious yet. Be sure, what you do is, you have to put down the sum right next to everybody when you're talking about the series, of course. So this is how you can utilize the list, right? And of course, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the first power, this right here is a harmonic series, it diverges. And this right here is a pretty good indicator, anything right here diverges, anything right here converges, whatever you see. But you have to be careful with the example the series of 1 over n times natural log of n, it's kind of like smaller than this series, but that does also diverges as well. So in terms of nothing too crazy, this right here is a pretty good list of how to determine if a series converges or not right on the spot within a second or so. Now, let's talk about this. The series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n factorial, converge or not, Yes, converges, because right here, you can see, this right here is much smaller than this right here. And remember, the p right here says, I will just put this down for you guys. Right? The p test says, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, n to the p's power, this right here, you have two situations. Either it converges or it diverges. Well, it converges if p is greater than 1, and this right here diverges if p is less than or equal to 1. And that's why I said this right here as a little cutoff point. But you can imagine if p is 2, well, this is so much smaller than this. Anyway, you can use the direct comparison test and argue that this is smaller than the convergent. Therefore, this right here also converges by the comparison test from the list the direct comparison test. Now, let's take a look at the next one. This right here can just do some work real quick, because this is the same as saying the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, and you change the radical notation to the over 3 uh, power, okay? So this becomes n 2 over 3 
power. And of course, this right here, based on the P-series, you can see that 2 over 3 is less than 1, so this right here diverges. And another reason is because this right here is actually bigger than this series, right? This right here is actually bigger than this series because the denominator n to the 2 third power is smaller than n to the first power. Well, when you do the reciprocal, this 1 over n to the 2 third power is bigger than 1 over n. And when you talk about the series, this right here diverges. This is bigger than a divergent that we already know, so this right here also diverges. Now, part C, 1 over n to the n. As you can see, this right here is the smallest zero that we have on the list. This right here converges. Anything right here that you can see converges. That's very nice, huh? So you see, we just knocked out three series in like, you know, 10 seconds or so. Anyway, next. Series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the nth power. Yes, you can say this is the geometric series, but we can also say, hey, it's right here. As long as b is greater than 1, which it is, and as you can see, this right here will be smaller than this. And from this part, you can pick n is, you can pick p is 2. So you can say this is less than 1 over n squared, the series for that. So this right here also converges. That's the idea. Next, series as n goes from 2 to infinity of 1 over ln of n. Notice, we start with n equals 2. Leave a comment down below and let us know why n has to be start with 2 or maybe 3. Why not 1? But anyway, the starting value doesn't matter as long as you don't mess up something right here. Leave a comment and let me know. Sum of 1 over natural log of n is the biggest part on the list, right? This right here is bigger than the divergent, as you can see. So of course, this right here also diverges by the direct comparison test. Now, take a look of this one. Well, as you can see, we have the sum, and this is 1 over square root of n squared plus 1. In terms of taking a limit as n goes to infinity, we know that the plus 1 doesn't matter. This is almost like saying, you give Jeff Bezos $1, he wouldn't care. If you give me $1, I would say thank you. Anyway, this right here, I will just put like a little approximation symbol. This is not really approximation symbol, but this is like saying it's about equal to, right? This is like similar, depending on how you want to say it, but hopefully you guys understand that. You can just say this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over, ignore the 1, you have square root of n square, of course. This right here, you can just cancel these guys out. In other words, sum of 1 over n. You can compare this with that, and this right here diverges. And a better way, and a much formal way to do this, is you should use the limit comparison test. So the idea is that this is almost the same size as that, as n goes to infinity. That's why they both diverges. Right, they are similar. All right, now, next one. Well, this right here is the square root of n to the third power. Be careful with this. This is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And we have 1 over n to the 3 half power. And now, look at earlier, we have 2 third power for the p, which is less than or equal to 1. That's why it diverges. Now, this is the 3 half power. p is 3 half, which is greater than 1. That means this guy here, converges thanks to the p-series, right? Next, we have this right here, the sum, and then this is 1 over 0 0.8 to the nth power. This right here diverges. It should be pretty clear. Leave a comment down below. This one, you guys do it, okay? Yeah. Next, we have this, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, natural log of n over n. Well, you can see that this right here, again, diverges. On the top, you multiply by natural log of n. So this is going to be bigger than that. This diverges. This is a bigger divergent than that, of course. So this right here has to be divergent. Sorry, just kidding. Diverges, diverges. All right? Lastly, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, n factorial over 
10 to the nth power. Hmm. Diverges. Why? Well, n factorial, in fact, it's much bigger than 10 to the nth power. Because as you can see, n factorial is right here. It's much bigger than whatever you want to the nth power, right? So, in fact, let me just write this down for you. If you take the limit, as n goes to infinity of this part, n factorial over 10 to the nth power, based on this and also this kind of example, you know this right here is so much bigger than that. And when you take the limit as n goes to infinity, in fact, you get infinity. So the idea is, yes, if you're using the list to do limits, you either get 0 or infinity, depending on the kind of sequence or function, depending on if you're talking about function or sequence, in this case it's the sequence, depending on the sequence, the kind of sequence that you have on the top, compared with the kind of sequence that you have on the bottom. Again, ten, uh, again, n factorial, it's much, much bigger than 10 to the nth power. How much bigger? Infinitely, infinitely like, much bigger, just like, infinitely times bigger. Yeah, as n goes to infinity. So this right here diverges technically is because this right here, when you take the limit, this does not give us 0. So technically, I should have say diverges by test for divergence. And hopefully, you guys actually did this as well. This right here also diverges by this one here diverges also by the test for divergence. Because if n goes to infinity, this bottom here is actually approaching 0. 1 over 0 is actually infinity if you're talking about limits. So this right here diverges, you can just say by test for divergence. All right, so keep the list in mind. You will be able to solve a lot of the series questions like this, right? So hopefully this helped. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, thank you for watching, and that's it.